The year is 2008. The world watches as financial markets teeter on the brink of collapse. Fear is palpable. Investors are losing their life savings. Amidst this turmoil, a figure emerges, promising improbable returns. His name is Weijin Tang. Tang's claim is audacious, a guaranteed 1% weekly return on investments. He claims to have a system, a strategy that defies market volatility. Many are skeptical. The promise seems too good to be true, but desperation can make people believe. News of Tang's supposed success spreads. Investors, hungry for hope, are drawn to his promises. Could this be the answer to their financial prayers, or is it a recipe for disaster? Tang remains undeterred by the doubters. He schedules a live demonstration of his trading prowess. The venue, the headquarters of his firm, Tang Weijin Financial Group, the stakes, his reputation and the trust of countless hopeful investors. The offices of Tang Weijin Financial Group are abuzz with activity. Anticipation hangs heavy in the air. Today is the day Tang will reveal his trading secrets. Journalists, investors and curious onlookers gather. All eyes are on the man at the center of the storm. A large screen dominates one wall, ready to display Tang's every trade. Cameras flash, capturing the scene for an anxious public. The atmosphere is electric, a mix of hope and apprehension. Tang, dressed impeccably, exudes an air of quiet confidence. He moves through the crowd with ease, shaking hands, exchanging pleasantries. He appears unfazed by the scrutiny, the weight of expectation. The demonstration is about to begin. The room falls silent, the tension palpable. Tang takes his place at a computer terminal. This is his moment. The world is watching. A seasoned financial reporter, microphone in hand, stands ready to question Tang. He represents the skepticism of many. How can anyone guarantee such returns in this market? Questions come rapid fire. What is the basis of your strategy? How can you mitigate risk in such volatile conditions? Is this too good to be true? Tang, calm and collected, fields each question with carefully chosen words. We use proprietary algorithms exploiting market inefficiencies. He uses technical jargon, referencing complex financial instruments. His answers are vague, lacking specifics. He avoids revealing his secret source, citing proprietary information. The reporter presses for concrete evidence, for transparency. Can you provide concrete evidence? We need transparency. Tang remains evasive, emphasizing his track record, the testimonials of satisfied investors. Our track record speaks for itself. Many of our investors are satisfied with the results. A seasoned financial reporter, microphone in hand, stands ready to question Tang. He represents the skepticism of many. Is this too good to be true? How can you mitigate risk in such volatile conditions? What is the basis of your strategy? How can anyone guarantee such returns in this market? Questions come rapid fire. Tang, calm and collected, fields each question with carefully chosen words. Our approach leverages complex financial instruments. We use proprietary algorithms and exploit market inefficiencies. His answers are vague, lacking specifics. He avoids revealing his secret source, citing proprietary information. Can you provide concrete evidence? We need transparency. I emphasize our track record and the testimonials of satisfied investors. Tang remains evasive, emphasizing his track record, the testimonials of satisfied investors. Tang's history in the financial world is not without its shadows. Whispers of past controversies circulate among the crowd. Some recall his involvement in a failed investment scheme years prior. Regulatory scrutiny has followed Tang before. Allegations of impropriety of misleading investors have surfaced. Tang has always maintained his innocence, claiming to be a victim of circumstance, of unfounded accusations. His past raises red flags for some. Can this time be different? Has Tang truly discovered a foolproof system? Or is this another elaborate scheme destined to collapse, leaving a trail of financial ruin in its wake? As the demonstration concludes, the room erupts in a cacophony of sound. Some are convinced, eager to entrust their money to Tang's apparent genius. Others remain skeptical, unconvinced by his carefully crafted performance. The weight of expectation now rests firmly on Tang's shoulders. Can he deliver on his extraordinary promises? Or will his claims crumble under the harsh reality of the global financial crisis? The world is watching, waiting to see if Tang is a financial messiah or a master illusionist. Only time will tell if his bold claims are a beacon of hope or a harbinger of further financial turmoil.